What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showcasing my custom Seth Rollins and I'm not labeling this like a basic to uh, ultimate conversion because really um, and really with all the customs that I do any time I do a kit bash or a fix up it doesn't matter what parts I'm taking from I'm not you know necessarily upgrading something from this to that I'm using parts and pieces from various uh, you know, various figures to be able to make something that I think is aesthetically pleasing. And as we look at this Seth Rollins here, you can see there's some obvious uh, parts from from basics, elites, and ultimates. Obviously, we got Seth Rollins with the Ultimate uh, Series torso, which I think works really well with Seth Rollins. Uh, he's it's a nice physique. It's not like stupid. It's not super skinny, and it's not like too overly buff like we see like with some uh some of the ultimate torsos and then the legs though i bought the basic uh, main event whatever series that is one of the recent ones that had the white and black and gold trimmed um you know look that uh, he sported at uh, last year's elimination chamber and i thought that was such a great look but of course that was a basic so it had basic boots and basic articulation but I went and was able to get on eBay and find someone who was selling the Series 99 Seth Rollins that has like the black and gray kind of marbleized tights with those white uh, kick pads with the gold gold part on the front. So I was able to pick those up and kind of convert and swap stuff and we'll, we'll kind of, you know, scoot, scoot him in for a little closer look to kind of inspect things. Um, also what I did, because uh, I know a lot of people kind of wonder like, like you take, you're taking these basic legs and you're putting them on elite figures, but you're losing articulation because they're they're single jointed. But what I actually did actually um, sliced right there on the back of the leg, uh, the single jointed knee, and I was able to transplant, you know, the entire lower leg uh, to Seth Rollins. So now he actually has a double jointed knee, which only because of the the knee pad there is hindered but he gets a much high, the basic probably got that maybe 90 but we can get above 90 with that i'm actually editing this in to kind of explain a little bit more about when i uh how i got the the leg swap to work so on the basic figure um like i was saying i heated it up i sliced it right there and with the um, Series 99, Elite Series 99, Seth Rollins, um, you know, has these shin, shin, kick, has these uh, shin guard kick pads, and this lower half of the leg is actually is actually a black uh, lower leg that's painted white, and but it had um, black knees and knee joints, and so I put that on there first, and this is actually, um, if you can see. Um, see that smaller hole is how the the knee joint uh, usually is to fit the tiny little peg in but the peg once I sliced open the basic figure was a little bit wider so I had to go in I used this little piece here from my, my Dremel set got that hole big enough heated that leg back back up again spread that apart plop that into the, the this into where that peg is and like squeezed it back together as it cooled off to kind of solidify it. Um, but I wasn't liking that 100% because he had like black knees and the back back of the legs were black. So I ended up having to sacrifice um, a Legends uh, Shawn Michaels um, so I could actually use a, the knee joint that was all white. And that worked pretty well. Uh, I couldn't use that lower leg because the the, the the kick pads that Shawn Michaels has and the lower legs are a little different than Seth Rollins. The lower leg is like still kind of part of that uh, like that boot. It's got that kind of cuff on it, so I still have to use those lower legs. And I, I mean, you, when you kind of look like real close, you can kind of see that that white paint's a little rough because it's there's black underneath. But overall, I think it still looks pretty good. Um, but that, that hopefully that explains a little bit better what I was talking about with the, the knee swap there. Also decided um, I didn't quite like the way the Series 99 
boots look, but I did have a spare ultimate, you know, uh, kind of kick pad shoes that I used, and I had a, just a gold uh, painter's pen that I was able to, it's not 100% the same gold, but it's still very shiny gold, and I put those there right before the toe articulation, so I don't have any paint rub and doesn't break anything up there. So that's, you know, basically the formula I took to make this Seth Rollins. Now, a lot of people, uh, since they've seen my um, basics to elite conversions, they're asking, well, what do you do with a, an ultimate? And I did take some pictures in the process of how I uh, uh, did this. As y'all know, the newer ultimates that have a different style torso. Now, the different style torso actually allows the figure from up here on the chest to rot rotate um, 360. So with these ultimates, you can actually rotate the upper half all the way around, but we're not gonna do that. But that actually kind of comes in handy in a second when I explain kind of this, uh, this torso swap. But anyway, the ultimates, they got this very flat and rounder peg um, compared to the basics which had a very, you know, tall cylind cylindrical um, peg. So basically, started shaving it down, shaving it down, shaving it down, and really just kept kept chipping away. And it kind of had to get in down into the into the uh, the waist there a little bit, and was able to get it where I could. Um, I was able to get the get the torso on there and he he's he stays pretty good um, I hadn't I hadn't super glued or anything to seal them back together just in case I want to you know start over or swap this onto a different body or try to do my magnet trick and do swappable legs but I don't I, I mean I don't want to I use had that little little rubbery piece that I, a uh, little heat, uh, rubber uh, heat shrink that I have on that peg. I don't want to do too much twisting at the waist and rub that down because right now it's uh, it's a pretty nice fit. Um, could be a little tighter, but he's, you know, fully, um, you know, clamped back together. So anytime I do some rotating, I'm probably going to rotate up there at the upper torso, which is kind of more of a natural spot on the body for, for uh, you know, us as humans to kind of pivot. So it's got that going for him. Um, of course, I transplanted those double jointed knees, so we got good kick forward, good bend back, got toe hinge, and of course with these basics, they don't have thigh swivel, but we can go in this way, out that way. I feel like with, uh, with this figure, um, despite using, you know, what people, you know, call, you know, a downgrade in articulation with the basic parts, I'm still able to get in a bunch of various different poses. And I'll try to take some photos at the end of this video to showcase that. But really, the my most favorite part about having a Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition is having swappable arms. Now, I do like soft goods to a certain extent, I think, with the wrestling figures, uh, cloth t-shirt works really well, but sometimes bigger jackets don't quite look right. And this Seth, the ultimate Seth Rollins came with a phenomenal like fur coat, but it just wasn't my style. I'd rather kind of have plastic arms and articulation that way. So I have this, uh, this vest piece, this jacket piece that was from a championships, uh, showdown basic two pack with Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. And then I got Ultimate Edition arms from the first, um, the first Bret Hart Ultimate Edition, but you know the the arms on those, uh, the jacket piece on those kind of had those those indentions there. So I took some Millie put epoxy sculpt, and I you know didn't really I wasn't trying to go for like you know a fur cuff you know to be like that, but I knew I didn't have to be like super smooth. I got there's a few imperfections in there. But I wrapped it all the way around, let it dry, and then I painted that part. Painted that part of the cuff and on the fur part. And I don't know, I mean, it all kind of looks shiny and glossy. I did just do a regular coat of paint on everything to get the blacks to look the same. But I did put a, a gloss finish on the fur parts. And hopefully they stand out a little bit. 
Uh, hopefully you can tell there's a little bit of a different sheen. It all looks kind of shiny under these bright lights, but I was able to put a different sheen on the fur and on the cuffs here to make it actually kind of look more like a fur coat. And I think that's probably my favorite part about this custom. You know, had to do a little sculpting, which I'm not a professional at that. I can't do like super intricate stuff, but that was a pretty simple thing I was able to do. And just kind of how I approached it with paint, I was able to get it the way I wanted to. So let's go ahead and let's pop the head off, pop these arms off. Might have to do this off camera. And there we go. We got Seth Rollins there in his entrance coat. So uh, I think that's a cool look to be able to swap on the jacket, be able to, you know, mimic this kind of look. Because he wore, you know, this particular jacket or at least one similar to it with a bunch of different gear. But I feel like this is just a cool look. We got the white and black with the gold with the all black jacket. I think this is a really cool look for Seth Rollins. And let's see if you can kind of get it little better look at that cuff right there on the jacket and of course you know we got all the rota all the rotation and articulation we need you know you can bend his elbows in if he wants you can bring him back down he can you know he can jog in place do everything he can you know we got plenty of room for him to squat down lower get into a bunch of different poses of course it's kind of hard for me to pose from behind behind the camera but you know you can do a lot of different things i feel like this is probably one of my most complete customizations where i just feel like he feels good in hand he's able to look good able to do a bunch of different looks you know of course i have uh different different man bun heads i have the the wide open mouth one i got that smirking face one somewhere smirking face one oop Oh, hang in there, Seth. The smirking face one that I got off that uh that two pack with Drew McIntyre. Of course, the the main event figure came with the blonde hair one, and I, and once I kind of get one of each of these facial expressions of Seth, I do want to make sure I have like one that's just all black hair and one that has the gold highlights. Uh, of course, we have the long hair with the mouth open, screaming. So. We got a bunch of cool different looks for Seth Rollins. And if y'all saw my John Cena video where I did the swappable legs, I probably will kind of play around with the magnets to do that with Seth Rollins because well, there's a ton of different Seth Rollins gear I would like to do and then always be able to have them, you know, swap in to this jacket piece, which is cool. But yeah, that's basically everything I got on this Seth Rollins Customs. I want to hear from y'all below, though. Tell me what you like most about the figure. Tell me, uh, you know, some things maybe I can work on or what I can do differently next time. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to explain things clearly uh, about my process in these videos. But thanks again, everyone, for liking commenting subscribing especially those of y'all that comment when i ask a question like hey who should i work on next how you know which which figure are you excited to see uh, those kind of comments help me put out more content content and help me you know motivate me to finish these projects that i you know start sometimes i don't finish but i was able to finish this one for all of y'all to see and hopefully next time i'll be either showing off you know i don't want to get too far ahead of myself but maybe a cody rhodes ultimate uh, a new formula kind of working with Steve Austin. I still have a Randy Orton. I need to put uh, tattoo decals on and I just have a bunch of other ideas and even got the, you know, the process started yet. But hey, thank you all again for watching these videos. Thank you for, uh, you know, the support so far. And I got a lot more to come. So stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Got no choice but to shine, gotta shine, about to lay it on the line.